150 Arizona doctors and health care providers have signed a letter asking voters to pass the Arizona for Abortion Access Initiative, which could be headed for the ballot in November. The signature gathering process to get it on the ballot will end this weekend when the 7,000 volunteers will be asked to turn in their petitions. Bud Foster has more on what that letter says. That's right, Brooke. They are very near the end of the signature gathering process. Now, they need 389,000 valid signatures in order to get it on the ballot by April 2nd. They already had more than a half a million, and they're hoping to have 800,000 signatures by the time they turn it over to the Secretary of State on July 3rd. The Arizona Abortion Access Act puts health care decisions where they belong, with patients, their families, and their health care providers. And for the Arizona health care providers who agree and sign the letter, it goes on and on for 15 pages and covers nearly every corner of the state. Doctors who not only provide abortion care, but those who have been affected by it. My wife and I suffered a miscarriage with our second pregnancy. She was severely hemorrhaging and went suddenly unconscious in the emergency room due to rapid blood loss. She had to have an emergency DNC in order to save her life. A DNC is the same procedure used for some abortions. He says any delays in that care and she would not have survived. For many of the doctors who signed the letter supporting the initiative, they have personal stories, especially those who remember life prior to Roe versus Wade in 1972. They were being maimed, they were hemorrhaging from back alley abortions, they were using hangers, knitting needles, and they were ingesting bleach, and it was a very scary and tragic time. Presently, Arizona's abortion laws are unclear. An 1864 territorial law, which bans nearly all abortions, may go into effect in late September which is why supporters of the initiative say its passage is crucial to protect a woman's right to make her own decisions. This amendment simply restores the rights Arizona had for the past 50 years before Roe v. Wade was overturned. Polling shows that the majority of people in the state of Arizona do support abortion rights, but whether that support is enough to add it to the state constitution, we won't know for certain until after all the votes are counted after the November 5th election. Downtown, I'm Bud Foster, 13 News.